My name is Lindsay Donhauser, and today I want to show you how to summarize trends in a data set that would generally take an immense amount of time and effort for you to calculate by hand. And the feature that we're going to use to do that is called a pivot table. So at the end of today's training, you'll be able to create a pivot table to help you summarize trends and calculations. The session, however, is not intended to give you complete mastery over pivot tables, but is it just intended to give you a sense of the possibilities within Excel for manipulating your own data. I hope that after the short tutorial, this will get your wheels spinning and be able to think of other problems that you can solve with a pivot table. So what I want to do is pose a potential dilemma that I would need to solve using a pivot table. So this is a list of classes offered on various days of the week, various times, various locations, and taught by different instructors. One of the questions that I might want to, to ask myself is how many total people are being trained each day on each of the three campuses? And while I could get this information by filtering or sorting, I would have to manually tally each day in each campus. And what I really want to do is be able to show all of that on a single table um, and calculate that really, really quickly. So again, the way we're going to do that is with a pivot table. So what you would do is you would click into your existing table and then you go to data and then pivot table is here in the ribbon. And I'm actually going to create a manual pivot table uh, because I want to show you how to build it. Most of them, um, We'll go into a new worksheet and we're going to use table one, uh, which is where all our data set is. So click OK. What that's going to do is bring you onto a new sheet, which you can see at the bottom. It's going to open a pivot table builder, and this is what I'm going to show you how to build, and then sort of a sample area so you figure out what it is, um, you know, where everything's going to go. So when I'm thinking about what I need to do to build this table, I like to visualize um, by doing a, a short drawing uh, of what I would want it to look like. So here, if I'm trying to do total people by each day and each campus, I would probably think about putting the campuses along the top, since there are just a few, and then doing all the days uh, of the week down through the row area. So really, once you've got that visualization, you can actually begin to drag the fields into the areas that you want them. So we said we were going to do location or campus along the top, so that would go in the column labels, and you'll see that will fill all the way across. We were also going to put the days in the row label, so I can just drag that down. And notice it, it sets up the table for me. And, but what I was looking for is the values. And if you remember, the question was the total number of people enrolled each day across each campus. And so the value area is going to be a count of all those enrolled. So I'll drag that down as well. And very, very quickly you can see that it pulls that data from your original set and inputs it in the correct location. Now this is really great um, and this is a pretty simple pivot table but sometimes you want to pull even more data or separate it out even more. So what would be great is if I knew the times on Monday that I had all of these 365 people um, in those classes and so what I could do is pick that second sort of nested um, field that I want to place under the row labels and just make that the second uh, field in the row label box and then that'll pop out as you can see you still have the 365 but now it breaks it out uh, really really nicely for us to show that we have between you know about 50 and 90 people in each of those days so this is really great you can also filter it so if right now I'm showing all of the different campuses but maybe I only wanted to include um, one of the campuses I could go in and I could just select, say, maybe the Scottsdale campus, and it would show me that. Um, you can also move that into the report filter area, and then, um, again, you have that, that toggle. Maybe you want to do everything except virtual, right? And so it's going to show you multiple items, um, but you can drag it back into the column labels if you want to pop that out and see both of them. So, Pivot tables are, are really, really quick, um, efficient ways to summarize data in a table uh, so that you can utilize it and you know, maybe print this or make a quick reference to come up with a number for somebody. Um, but overall, I think it's an immensely powerful tool um, and something that you'll find a use for sooner or later. So thanks so much for watching this tutorial. And if you have any questions, feel free to let me know.